Hey everyone. So Natalie and the boys got me a GoPro for my birthday. And so now I can take you with me on all of my uh, treasure hunting adventures. So here's the first one and take a look at it. Make sure you watch all the way through because there's a very cool ending that I want you guys to make sure that you see. Here we go, enjoy.
here's all of my signs for today. I got this big old bucket hat. A shoe that has been in the ocean. It looks like a pretty long time giving all that seaweed. A couple of toys, a helicopter and tech deck, sunglasses, golf ball, a sand toy. And then the big find for today was someone's wallet. Look at that. It has all the credit cards in there. It has um, a gift card. I didn't find any cash, but there is a gift card in there. So I'm going to uh, reach out and see if I can contact that person and give her, her her stuff back. So there we have it. Hey everyone. So I found that wallet in the ocean and I looked up on Facebook. I found her. We actually have a mutual friend, which is crazy. And through his help, uh, we were able to connect. So I am here with Jackie. Yes. All right. All right, Jackie, so let me know, how did your wallet end up in the ocean? Okay, so we were having a family day, and we actually looked like we were towards the end of the beach, but we were in front of, like, Laguna Hotel and some other hotels, and we found a spot, and um, we were having a good time, and, you know, having food, and the kids were playing in the sand and all this stuff, but at the later it got, the bigger the waves started to get. So even the lifeguard came over and told us about 7.30, you guys are gonna wanna move because the wave is gonna come up and hit the wall. It's gonna come all the way up. So we were like, oh, okay, you know what? We, of course we paid mind to what he was saying. It wasn't quite even seven o'clock yet. It was around 5.30 or so. So around seven, the waves did get a little bit closer. It was hitting our feet. So we started to put stuff in the car and then we moved uh, some of our other things that we still needed or still wanted out there. So we got the um, ice chest and my Bluetooth speaker and my phone and moved it as far back as we could get it towards um, the hotel, actually on the wall, on the platform going up the stairs to the hotel. But we didn't really want to block it because you know people were coming up and down the stairs in and out of the hotel. So. Um, so we were singing and having a good old time and the next thing we know the tidal wave of terror just it just came out of nowhere came all the way up to the wall and got us like waist high and so my ice chest went over the bluetooth speaker went over my phone also went over in the phone i was able to grab the bluetooth speaker as it hit the sand and lift it up and put everything our sandwiches we had licorice um different things inside the ice chest you know, got tainted with the sand or whatever. But I looked around, my phone was gone. It just got drifted and taken away by the, the tidal wave. So that's how I lost the phone. So I just thought everything was just, oh, my whole day was wrong. We were, I was like, it's time to go. Let's get our stuff. Thank God my keys, purse, and all that wasn't, you know, wasn't sitting down. Somebody had that. So um, as I started, that was a Saturday. So as I started on Monday, to try to go and um, get my driver's license and all my things back that I lost. Um, I believe it was Tuesday when I got my phone activated because that's one thing that we didn't retrieve. But um, a friend gave me her old cell phone. So I activated and went to Messenger and all these messages popped up. And like she said, one happened to be a mutual friend of ours. And she found my stuff snorkeling with everything in it except for the cell phone which got washed away you know probably you know from the rocks so that's our amazing story you know i i just i just feel blessed and i feel it, it's just amazing like things like this don't happen anymore because a lot of times people are just not honest so i appreciate erin so much like she'll never know